So it's uh, just after 6 a.m. and I'm driving into work. Uh, I usually take my bike with the bike share program or take the TTC, but to protect my health and my coworkers, the safest thing I can do is to drive. I'm Dr. Samir Sinha, and I'm a geriatrician and the director of geriatrics at Sinai Health System and the University Health Network in Toronto. I'm going to take you through a day of what it's like for me working now amid this new reality. I do a lot of my visits now virtually. But I'm here with Nancy Hutton, who actually runs our outpatient lab. And Nancy, I'm seeing my patients over the phone or through video chats. Um, they're not coming here where they usually get their blood work. What are you seeing? Uh, we are seeing very few patients now, and it does have us quite concerned because we don't know if they are actually getting their blood work, which is needed for diagnosis of patient care. It's a big issue. It is a big issue. There has been no typical day uh, since this pandemic began. Uh, we're all working double hours now and uh, just trying to do the best we can support our patients in and outside the hospital. This week I've been focusing on calling all my patients and uh, using either the phone, the good old telephone, or uh, using video links for those who are a little bit more tech savvy, just to make sure people are okay um, and that they're getting the support they need. Okay, Nick, in, in terms of your mom's uh, nursing home application, do you have any questions at the moment? I do. Um, if a bed becomes available during this COVID-19 pandemic and we turn it down, what are our options? Yeah, no, good question actually. So the Ministry of Long-Term Care just passed emergency regulations just a few weeks ago just to say that in families like yours, if you do get a bed offer, traditionally if you turned it down, you would be struck off the list. But if your family says, just not right now, can we hold off until the pandemic ends, um, they'll actually hold the bed offer so you won't lose your place in line and then you can decide when it's right for mom to go in. That's great typically 16 to 18 hour days. Uh, um, one of the last cars at a lot at night. It's been another productive day, but what always keeps me up at night is wondering whether I could have done anything more.